Hey everyone, it's that time of the month again where I update you on my buys, sells and overall position in both my ISA and my general investing accounts. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go through what moves I've made this month or last month should I say in April. First up, I invested £5,000 into my ISA account and bought more Tesla stock on the first day of the new tax year. That's the 6th of April. I managed to buy 6.25 shares at an average price of £800 or $1,017. The next thing I did was sell £15,000 worth, so around, well, it was 19 shares from my general account and then transferred that amount from my general account into my ISA account. It wasn't until the 13th of April when I bought back my Tesla shares that I actually managed to buy 19.54 shares as the price decreased in the time when I was transferring between the two accounts, from my general account to my ISA account basically. So I started April with 208.1 shares of Tesla across both my accounts. But due to adding that 5,000 pounds and the gain from selling at a higher price in one account and buying back at a lower price in another account, I ended April with 214.7 shares across both the accounts. My account stood at £170,457 as of the 1st of April. At the end of April, my account stood at 149151 This turns out to be a 15% loss across the month overall. So what I want to do here is show you the price of Tesla stock and how that's changed over last month, April. At the start of April, the price was $1,077 per share when they were going through the delivery numbers for the most recent quarter, Q1 of 2022. It then dropped by 19.2%, ending April at $870 per share. This was done to a few things, so the macro stuff that we've seen going on with the conflict, as well as Elon over the last week or two selling shares to fund his purchase of Twitter. So overall, that means that I've maxed out my ISA account with the £20,000 for this tax year, and I invested a five, further £5,000 last month overall. What I'm gonna do here is bring up a grid, which I keep up to date each and every month to show where I'm at, my progress, what my account stood at, what I've lost, what that means the percentage, and what the compound annual growth rate is and what it's tracking at. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how Tesla has performed against all the other S&P 500 companies and what my investment pot would have looked like had I invested it in an index tracker fund or other companies. But until next time, stay safe.